Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this video is going to be part of the Creators Helping Creators series that I'm making. And in this video, we are once again in YouTube Studio Beta, but we're going to go over the Interest Viewers um, tab, but not for an individual video like this one. We're going to do it for the whole channel. Why? Because I look for this number right here, average view duration. Now, for this video, it says 71.2%. Overall average for this individual video, since for its lifetime, I have a 71.2% average view duration. That's excellent for me as far as I'm concerned. Anything better than 50% is excellent, but this is for an individual video. By the way, let's hit this other number here too. Anything better than 25%. Now watch this pop up. It's going to come up here. The black number says five minutes and 40 seconds. Oddly enough, that's the runtime of the video up here, right? Five minutes and 40 seconds right there. So of the 540, of the people who started watching this video, 57.1% watched it to the very end, all right? That's fantastic, that's what I like to see because that number needs to be better than 25%. For me, that's my own opinion. My opinion is the very end, when somebody starts a video till they get to the very end, you really want that number, or I do, I really want that number to be better than 25%. 57.1% is excellent. 71.2% is far better than the 50% that I like on any individual video, but I also like that on the entire channel. If I was to try to do the analysis on every individual video, I have over, uh, I have close to 400 videos, right? This would kill my time. I would have no time to do it. Going through every single video doing this, it's way too slow. It's too time consuming. And, you know, in all honesty, the paralysis of analysis, you're really just killing yourself trying to look at your numbers and trying to figure them out. I really only need an overview. So let's go back into here. We've already gone through overview. We've gone through reach uh, viewers. And now I'm going to talk about interest viewers. Why? Because I'm looking at watch time minutes <clears throat> and it has really the three components, but the two most important parts are your total watch time. And that's what this is in the last 28 days over here. This is the watch time that I've had in the last 28 days. The other part, the other most important part of that is what percentage of videos, uh, what percentage of the individual videos are people watching? Are they watching just 1%, 10%, 50%? What are they watching? And the percentage that I want for my channel is better than 50% overall for any period of time, all right? So what do I do to find that number? This is what I'm gonna show you in this video. <clears throat> Deeper detail on an overview schedule, and you can really look at in the top 50 individual videos as, uh, when you do this. From this upper graph, right, and from this graph up here, in the center of this, each one of these individual tabs, right, overview, reach viewers, interest viewers, build an audience, and earn revenue, these are going to, when you click here, it's going to open up a different type of chart. Let's focus on the interest viewer ones. And I want to show you where to get the average percentage of videos watched. Okay. So click up here from interest viewers. Very important. Interest viewers, click here. <clears throat> this is going to open up this new chart and I don't care about the upper part of it. So I'm going to get rid of that right now. Scroll down. Now you're going to see this blue circle with a white plus sign in it. Go to that, right? So it's right here. Right, right under viewer age right here, it's gonna have that blue circle with a white plus sign. Click on that. This drop down menu came up and look over here where it says overview, all right? Click on that. Now the first three are grayed out because they're already part of this graph over here. The first one that we see that we can click on is average percentage viewed. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna click on that. All of these are gonna slide over to the right and we're gonna see the average percentage viewed. It just popped in right there. Now, if we look at my, this is for the total for my channel, right? For my channel in the last 28 days, the average percentage of, all, of each individual video viewed added up is 47%. This to me is not good. I'm failing. To me, I'm failing. I'm not failing by much, but failing is failing. Failing my way to success every step of the way. I'm not going to worry about it too much because I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because I don't think I'm doing too badly. I just want to do a whole lot better. And a whole lot better includes doing better than 47%. I want this percentage to be better than 50%. Now, what I'm talking about here is <clears throat> watch, like, comment, and subscribe. Nobody can promise anything to another person. But what I did back in when the 4K, 1K thing hit, and if you don't know, research it and find out what it's all about or, or ask me and I'll tell you. But when 4K, 1K hit and I got demonetized, I said, look, 
that there's certain things that are very, very important to us. And one of the things was like, oh, what's what's most important? Uh, number of subscribers or you know watch time? The answer is both. Well, what's more important, watch time or percentage of uh, uh, video watched? The answer is both. It's all important and YouTube is not pulling any punches. They're not lying to us, they're not hiding anything from us, at least not in this stuff. And they tell us what's important, there's a whole lot of things that are important and it take a, you know, we'd have to do our own logarithm to figure out what it is. But two of the things that are really important are watch time and average percentage watch. So if I have a bunch of one hour videos and people are watching four minutes of it, I'm not doing so well. But if I have a whole bunch of five minute videos and people are watching four minutes, well, I'm doing pretty darn good, right? And it's gonna be a whole lot better than 47%. So for me, for my channel, like I said, on the individual video over here, I want the average view duration for the entire channel to be much, much better than 50%, all right? My end view on each individual video, I'm not gonna go through looking through this. I only check them every now and then, but you can just see it right here, better than 25%. So if this area, shaded area is better than 25%, I'm pretty happy. If this number up here is better than 50, I'm pretty happy, all right? <clears throat> looking over here at the totals for my channel over the last 28 days, I'm not so happy. I'm happy-ish, all right? So that's what I'm saying. So the promise that I make to myself, watch, like, comment, and subscribe. When I start somebody's video, I'm watching their video, I'm watching 100% of their video. Why do I do that? Because I know that that's a very important percentage. 100% is the best you can get. I'm gonna watch when I'm, when I'm watching anybody's video, right? I watch 100%. When I'm, uh, you know, I'm gonna like the video, right? That's always gonna happen. If uh, I wanna support the channel, can't promise I'm gonna support a channel, uh, if I'm going to support them, I'm going to hit the uh, subscribe button. I'm going to support that uh, creator. And I'm always going to make a comment below. I mean, there might be a channel that for some reason, somehow, some way, I'm not ready to subscribe to them yet because I really didn't make that logical connection just yet. But 99.9% .9 of the time, I do. All right? I just do it anyway. But um, I'm going to watch 100% of their video. I'm going to like their video. I'm going to make the comment below. And I'm going to support that creator. That's just the way it is. That's my promise to me. All right? And uh, my hope my hope, and my goal is that this percentage is going to be greater than 47%. All right, so that's going to wrap it up. That's where you find that. Again, let me go through it real quick at the very end here. You find the watch time minutes is the overview. It's right there. All right. In interest viewers, it's the same place. All right. <clears throat> the average view duration, you can see right here. All you have to do to get the other part is click on this. Pops up in a new graph. Scroll down to get rid of the numbers up there. The blue circle with the white plus sign, click on that, click on overview, then click on average percentage viewed, and that opens it up in the channel right there, uh, up there in the chart. And you can look at each individual video as well. So you can see like here's one with 66.4%, that's much better than 50%. 51.8, better than 50%. 56, better than 50%. So you get what I'm saying here. So I can give, give a quick view over here without getting locked down in a paralysis of analysis. Don't waste your time too much on super duper fine details because I'm telling you this right now, things are going to change and evolve. I will go through more of this stuff. Uh, there's more information to see in all of these little buttons right here that we can click. I will look at those, see which ones I think that are more important than other ones so we can kind of decide what we want to do, how we want to do it, right, going forward. And then also uh, in these things up here. You know, we've already been through these. I'll, I'll look at build an audience and, uh, and make a video on that and talk about some of the things I've noticed on my channel so you might know you know how things tend to go, right? For at least for on mine. And uh, we'll talk about this later on too, right? But uh, this is the third one we've done. That'll wrap it up for this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like this video, right? Hit the thumbs up down there. Uh, if you haven't already, you like these videos, consider subscribing to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And we need subscribers. And then um, until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.